You are about to enter another dimension, one of 4G and NFC, where neighborhoods are sealed under layers of copper and glass. You're about to enter a phone. Hey there, welcome back. I'm Nat. And I'm Lo. And this is our 20% project, where we go find out about different Google stuff that we're curious about. And in this episode, we're taking apart a phone to learn what's inside of it and how that stuff actually works with our friend Dan. Dan works on the Android team, and his real job is helping developers make gaming apps. But in his spare time, he likes taking apart hardware. You're a pro at teaching, mm -hmm. and then... I'm an you... amateur at breaking things. Okay. <laughs> and, take, and taking things apart. All right. Let's start uh, taking apart this Nexus 5. And so when you open up kind of any phone, will mm -hmm. it look basically the same inside? Uh, it'll have similar components, and those components will be organized in similar ways. So you've got a display, cameras, microphones. There's a case, the battery, a SIM card slot, speakers, and a sensor that can tell whether or not a phone is near your face. <laughs> This is the gyro um, and the accelerometer. They're both sensors that are useful for playing video games and fitness apps because they can tell your phone's movement. There's a motherboard, which is the main printed circuit board and does a lot of different stuff. A lot of phones also have daughter boards, which are an extension of the motherboard and can be all different shapes and sizes. Then there's also the father board. Is there a father board? No, I just made that one up. <laughs> Testing you. <laughs> Almost every useful component you would see on the phone is actually on this board. It looks like there's little neighborhoods on the board, like this is separated, <laughs> there that's are. all separated. It's like suburbia. So, Absolutely. Yeah, it's like and looking out from a plane window and seeing, you know, like these little separate areas. So are they actually separate? They are actual neighborhoods. Um, so uh, that, that's a great way of describing it, actually. Uh, and you can see both sides of the boards have different neighborhoods. Or something like Project Aura that has all the different components right. that you just slot into your phone. Is right. that like making one of those little neighborhoods just independent? Absolutely. That's that's and that's exactly what, what if you look at this, you can already see kind of like what Project Aura is trying to do. So one thing we aren't able to take apart is this front display, and that's because this is all glued together. But Dan explained that if we were able to take it apart, there'd be all these different layers of glass and insulating material and protective coating. And sandwiched between those layers are two very important layers made up of these super thin copper wires, actually thinner than a human hair. There's a layer of wires that are horizontal and carry an electric current, and they're called the driving lines layer. And then there's the layer of lines that are vertical that are called the sensing line layers. And together, they form a grid. <laughs> and this grid has an electric charge. So basically, when your fingers get close to the screen, because they're good conductors of electricity, they disrupt the grid's electric charge, and the processor picks up on that, and it plots it on an XY axis. So it can figure out exactly where you're touching it, and can then route that information wherever it needs to go. A phone is a really sophisticated computer combined with an enormous number of radios. Not like the radio that you listen to in your car, but like a two-way radio. Like walkie-talkies. So your phone can transmit data or it can receive it. So your phone has a cell phone radio and that communicates with a cell tower whenever you're making a call. Then it's got a Wi-Fi radio. And that's good for downloading big files or streaming video. It actually uses less battery because it has less distance to go. It has a Bluetooth radio for connecting to maybe speakers in your living room. And if you've ever tapped your phone to pay, that's going to be using your NFC radio. It stands for Near Field Communication because it can only travel like an inch and a half in range. And last but not least, there's GPS, which of course is really useful for real-time mapping and in case you lose your phone. And all those radios actually make it pretty tricky and interesting to design phones because you can't have them interfering with each other and they're all packed in there super close together. Dan, what are you doing? I'm putting it back together, of course. <laughs> well, seeing, it going? If I, seeing if I can. Um, it's going pretty well. So, yeah, just your average fry. What's your prediction for phones in the future? You know, this year, we're seeing a lot of cool stuff in terms of uh, what we're doing with Project Cardboard and uh, people using these phones as a basis for a virtual reality player. So you want to go and be somewhere else. You want to see Street View, but you want to see it in 3D. You, know, you can use this with a couple of lenses and a piece of cardboard to be there. And I think that's just scratching the surface of what we're going to see in terms of, in terms of phone technology and how it can provide you that sensory experience. 
So what did you learn about phones from all of this? It's a lot more fun when you actually know what's inside the things you use every day. Yeah, it was interesting to learn how all these different things are laid out together. So there's probably as much, if not even more, design on the inside of the phone than there is on the outside. We wanted to thank you mm. for taking the time to do this today. So you'll hang tight and mm. I'll go get something. Since Dan broke apart a phone for us, as a thank you, we decided to give him something else to break apart. Did we get all of it? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, Nat. So I think this is the end of the episode. So I was just picturing that we just like walk off camera now. Oh, well, I'm glad you called me and told me because I don't know how else I would have found out. All right. So see ya. Okay, bye.